delighted to have you with us on a perfect day for Big Ten football here in the state of Michigan. Going into the Illinois game, I knew it was going to be my last game. My last time going out the tunnel, my last time touching the banner. Blake Corum. And then boom. Chopped down on the corner. Corum is still down. When he went down, I knew. He usually pops right back up. I felt like for me, time stood still in that moment. You start thinking, is he going to be able to play next week? Is he OK? We find out it's a little serious. It was a meniscus tear. Right after that game, we did our turkey drive. Two and two? Hope you all have a good one. He's out there smiling with the fans and just being out there. But I knew he was hurting. I could feel that pain. And it just broke me, man. I mean, I had to, I had to go away, step away a few times and shed some tears. We were told he was gonna need surgery the next morning. Blake was not ready to accept that. The next game was Ohio State. Doctors said it wouldn't get worse. I know if I said I was coming back, like they were going to have to prepare for me as well. I wanted to give it a shot. He wanted to for his teammates. He was worried about how it was going to affect them. That's really honestly what drove him to want to be there. He felt like his teammates needed him to be there. I watch him warm up, right? I'm like, all right, maybe he's good. Here's Corum testing out that knee. He got the ball, and I was like, nah, he ain't going to be able to do it. Corum did not look right trying to cut off that left leg. He tried. My heart broke. But he just basically was like, let's get this surgery done. Let's, let's, let's go. I fell into like a, a deep hole, you know, that I had to get myself out of. I've always been the type of person to uh, cheer others up when they're down. And there was a time where I couldn't even cheer myself up. He just lost motivation for a moment and questioned things and wasn't himself. We had a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. It was just me and him, father and son, talked about life. He's asking why, Dad? You know, I was here. I'm running for the Heisman, ready to go to the league. Why did this happen? Look, man, you know, everything happens for a reason, right? Blake was on a very strict physical therapy routine. He was determined that he was gonna get that knee back. Every milestone, we would get blown up with text that day. I put pressure down, or I, I got on this special treadmill. Go for it. He was embracing these small things that he probably took for granted at one point. He's starting to believe it, that he's getting a little bit better. That's where all the positivity came from, and that's where he kind of just dug deep and, and came out that slump. I think this whole experience has made me a better person. Corum's got the edge. Blake Corum on the run. Corum might go. Corum to the pylon. Having this knee injury, it taught me a lot. It taught me how to battle in different types of adversity. It just gave me a, like a better perspective on life. Life's too short not to be happy. This team's full of fighters, you know, and that's what I love about them. You know, that's why I came back. You know, I, came, I didn't come back for stats. I didn't come back for touchdowns. I came back for these guys. I came back to win. Blake's decision to come back, I really did not know what to tell him. I, I, I didn't. He basically came to me and it was like, hey, dad, you choose. He was like, you never let me down. And I said, Blake, I, I can't do that. Get a piece of paper, write down your pros and cons. I weighed out some pros and cons, pros of staying and, and pros of leaving. Ultimately, you know, I chose to come back for the bigger picture. Once he came out and he said that he was coming back, he called me, he's like, Mom, I just felt like this huge weight was lifted. He hasn't regretted it at all. When I think about Blake, I go right to his work ethic, his drive. 
his willingness and wanting to compete at all times. Anytime you you know you have a major surgery, there's there's questions in your mind. Am I gonna be the same guy? Am I gonna have the same speed? Am I gonna be able to do what I need to do to get back to that level? It was me trying to get him just to say, hey, you don't have to make everybody miss. Just run downhill and your knee will get back to where it needs to be by the time we get into the big game. Throughout this year, I haven't had like that big game, but I knew it was coming. Corum bounces it outside, turns a corner, Blake Corum down the sideline, Blake the great out of bounds. Corum with a hole down the sideline, gonna get there, Blake the great, touchdown Wolverine. I was just so happy that he actually got to go out there and do what he's been wanting to do all year. senior day. It's just going to be a proud moment being able to walk on that field with him, knowing that he has done the university well on and off the field. I'm just so proud of my kid, man. Um, I'm just proud. <laughs> when I walked out that tunnel the last time, when I see the fans, when I hit the banner, like, I know deep down the side, like, you know, I did everything I could for this university. It's Blake's birthday, and we're playing Ohio State, and his last game in the big house. I'll be sad because I don't want it to end, but I, I am excited for his next chapter. Sometimes one journey has to end for the next one to start. It's coming to an end, it's going to be a lot of emotions, but, uh, you know, it's, it's almost that time.